When it comes to ethics, the Chandler City Council has some problems. That's the take, at least from a leading expert, after we discovered a council member's business was doing work for the local police union. We also discovered other city leaders knew about it. Tonight, ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscoping is back to explain why it signals bigger concerns for one of Arizona's biggest cities. Chandler Council Member Jane Poston proudly touts her business on her city bio, but what it doesn't say is that J2 Media has done video and PR work for the local police union, including during her time on the council. What do you think about that at face value? Well, uh, the appearance of it is not good. It's never a good idea for a sitting public official to be doing business um, with someone who's associated with some aspect of city government. John Palacero is an expert on government ethics with Santa Clara University. This is pretty basic, right? You don't take money from people you might govern. Uh, yes, uh, you know, first of all, you want to ensure that public officials are always going to be looking out for the public interest and not for their own private and financial interest. Some background. Poston is facing a serious allegation. We obtained an email from Chandler's police chief to the city manager, and it claimed the council member and the police union president were under FBI investigation for public corruption. The email didn't say what that investigation was specifically focused on. In a written statement, Poston told us the FBI allegation is an unsubstantiated rumor, but she did not respond to our questions about her business and the union. Poston's on leave after a surgery last month and said she'll answer those questions when she returns. To find out more about what Poston's colleagues may have known, we tracked some down at a recent council meeting, especially since some of them, including council member Matt Orlando, actually appeared in videos done by the union and Poston's company. Do you remember where this video was shot? Um, trying to remember where it was shot at. Um, yep. Drawing a blank. Sorry, I just wrote a blank on it. Yeah, um, it might have been. Was it at the J2 Studios? Yeah, I think it was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so then you were aware of Councilmember Poston's relationship with them and making videos for the for the union. I, I don't know what that means. What are you, what are you trying to? I, well, Councilmember Poston owns J2 Media. Right, and there, it was her husband that was doing the filming. But they're co-owners of the business, right? Uh, again, her husband was the one doing the, doing the filming. It wasn't posted at all. Jane was not at all involved, but it, her husband did the shooting. Well, I, I'm not certain that the council member understands how the public might perceive uh, what's going on here. I guess I'm interested in finding out, is it that they didn't understand or they didn't care? And uh, I'm not sure which one would be worse. Well, again, I, I believe here that it's important to know whether these council members uh, knew what they were participating in and understood, had enough ethical awareness to understand that this is a problem, um, to be participating in, in something that is in and of itself um, a conflict of interest. Unlike many cities, a Chandler spokesperson told us their council has not adopted an ethics policy. But in their council rules and procedures, this single paragraph discusses conflicts of interest, saying, Council members shall abide by the provisions of Arizona Revised Statute, Chapter 38, Article 3. Now, we still have a lot more to learn about Poston's business and its ties to the union. But at this point, Poston's fellow council member, Angel Encinas, told us he didn't see an issue. Well, those are two private businesses outside of this arena. So they conduct their own business outside of that. You know, I think at the end of the day, David, you know, the uh, appearance of this improper set of relationships, a conflict of interest, um, is going to erode the public's trust in uh, the city council and in city government in general. And that's the thing that, that all of these council members and the mayor should be concerned about. I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona.